Urinals in Texas make for very awkward conversations. Hi, today is Wednesday, January 6th, and you're watching La Sojourn. Ain't that right, Crystal? Yeah. We are right here in Sonora, Texas. This is one of two rest stops we stayed at last night. We napped at one, drove for a while, and then napped at another. We just saw the first cactus of the trip. We visited the caverns of Sonora. Okay. <laughs> Did you see what just happened? <laughs> I just fed a peacock. The cave tour took us 16 stories underground, cost $20 per person, and was totally worth it. Okay, my name is Brandy. If y'all have any questions on the tour date, feel free to ask. This cave was open to the public for tours in about 1965. It's always been guided tours. Stalactites from the floor stalagmites. When they end up growing together, because every water drop that comes down has minerals in it, so eventually they grow and grow and grow, and they come together to make a column. Not that time period or anything. I just know that's the thing. The domes up here is just from where the water would spin really, really fast to make these um, washouts. The kids call this one the upside down snowman. Mediterranean equivalent of Alfred. I know I'm the Mediterranean equivalent of Alfred. Mental note, Pecos, Texas is perfect for Mad Nation. This place is awesome. Yeah, it is. Look thing. at this. This motel. This once was a motel. That first house had a recliner on their front porch and the second one had a wall. This right here is where I should be shooting at my Hi, what, uh, what road are we on? We're on the 285, 285. north. We, we, we just snuck into somebody's, somebody's field to hang out with these longhorn steers. And we just passed through Pecos, Texas, which is, in my opinion, the coolest th town I've <sighs> seen in Texas so far. Just this right to move. <laughs> And uh, now we're heading on to Roswell. We're hoping we'll make it there before dark, but we probably won't. Anyway. Maybe. Maybe. Take we're care. We're not sure when the time zones change. Yes. We don't know when the time zones change. But uh, we're going to get out of here before somebody shoots us. Bye. I keep having flashbacks to No Country for Old Men. We're in Asteria, New Mexico, and we're greeted by this gentleman on horseback. Well, we just had dinner in Asteria, New Mexico at Chaps Restaurant, a delightful little family restaurant. Uh, amazing Mexican food, amazing Mexican food, which is understandable considering this is the Southwest. Uh, and now we're on our way to Roswell, New Mexico on the last 40 miles of that. And we're going to stay in a hotel and then in the morning we're going to rock out in Roswell with all those people wearing tinfoil hats. So we've arrived in Roswell and the first thing that we saw was the snazzy pig. We were just about to say that uh, we haven't seen anything UFO themed yet, but now that we're in downtown Roswell, uh, we have. There's a few things kicking around. It's I, not huge. I, yeah, I was expecting as soon as we hit the border, everything was going to be 
like alien UFO themed and um, we didn't actually see anything for a while and we passed uh, um, an arcade and uh, the UFO museum so far. Yeah, and I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it looks it looks nice. It looks like a nice little town with a few UFO themed things here. It looks like they're not really overdoing the touristy crap, which is neat. Uh, then again, we might see things in the light of day that uh, you know we wouldn't normally see in the evening. Uh, so who knows? There's a Sonic. There's a Sonic. There's always a Sonic. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Roswell is the only place where Walmart does not look completely out of place. If you ever go to Roswell, spend an evening in the National Nine Inn. I think it's very silly that hotel rooms put their heaters right under their windows. For one thing, a lot of heat is lost through those windows. And secondly, the drapes always billow like this and look very silly. So, now that we're here in Roswell, and we have our nice, cute, little, reasonably priced and very comfortable hotel room, we are going to turn in for the evening, and in the morning, we will explore Roswell and all of its cute, tacky, little, alien-themed attractions. And then, from there on, it's onward to Arizona, possibly stopping in El Paso along the way. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. We're crashing in Roswell. <laughs>